I'm coming to win the goddamn Olympia. I'm going to win the Mr. Olympia. I don't want to go to the Olympia and get 15th place. I want to win it. Hi guys, welcome back with the early qualification series of 2023 Mr. Olympia. This year there is no qualification through point standings, so each athlete has to win the show in order to qualify for the biggest bodybuilding show Mr. Olympia. So up to this point, let's look at the list of qualified athletes for the 2023 Mr. Olympia. Recently at one of the most prestigious bodybuilding shows, New York Pro Tony Burton was the last man standing and now he's going to prepare for the biggest battle, Mr. Olympia. Former 212 athlete Tony is very consistent making significant improvements. He has very balanced physique and round muscle bellies with small tiny waist and this year he's going to push his physique beyond its limits to unlock its full potential for the men's open Olympia. The upcoming bodybuilder Olive from Iran, Behros Tabani, was the last man standing in Arnold Classic South America 2023. Behros has qualified second time in a row for the Mr. Olympia. Last year, he did not have much time to go through the difficult process of obtaining USA visa. This time, he has enough time to get his visa and hopefully, IFBB Pro League takes a serious action in helping Behros in his visa procedure. So he will not lose the chance again from stepping on Mr. Olympia stage this time. Iranian sensation Behroz has very impressive shape and size. His well-built X-frame and massive delts draw attention to his physique and it will be amazing to see him presenting his physique with exceptional conditioning on stage. Now Iran will have two representatives in the biggest bodybuilding competition Behroz Tabani along with current Mr. Olympia Hadi Chupan. Last year, Brett Wilkin won Big Man Weekend Pro Show in Spain and received his qualification much earlier for the 2023 Mr. Olympia. So he has enough time to improve his physique, gain more size and overcome his weakness. This is going to be his first ever Men's Open Olympia show. His upcoming Olympia debut will most likely amplify his motivation to climb the open ranks. And 35 years old, Brett is turning up his training intensity to a next level. His goal is to reach his peak performance and push himself to achieve his maximum potential. Last year, he was beaten by Behros Tabani and this year, he will get the chance to take his revenge on the Olympia stage. And new Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry! Former Mr. Olympia winner Brandon Curry had disappointing performance last year. He most likely played a size game to dethrone Big Ramy, but he sacrificed his conditioning. He wanted to bring more size on Olympia stage. He was probably 15 to 20 pounds heavier last year. You won the Olympia at 242, is that right? Yeah. And you're waking up at like 258 now? Yeah, yeah. But that's like 16 pounds? <laughs> But his conditioning was not on point, so he had to drop down to the fourth place. And it's been his lowest placing he ever got since he won Olympia in 2019. He will be 41 years old this year on Olympia stage. He has incredible structure, very cartoonish physique and beautiful shape with round muscle bellies. But we will see what package former Mr. Olympia brings this year to fight with the reigning champ and upcoming bodybuilders in order to get back his Olympia title. As we know, last year, two times Olympia winner Big Ramy could not deliver his best performance and he dropped down to the fifth place. But recently in Arnold Classic Ohio, we have seen a better and vastly improved version of Ramy in a very short amount of time with the stem cell treatment. And possibly he does fix his all issues on a certain level to regain his Olympia title. Even though in the bodybuilding community there is a discussion for Remy to get retired, 
And even some experts believe that he will never win Mr. Olympia title again. I don't think he's capable of winning an Olympia again. But I think he still has the potential to reclaim his title. And this year, Remy's fans are very hopeful that he will bring his one of the best physiques on Olympia stage. Contacting Big Remy and ask him about the Olympia because a lot of people are wondering, will Remy be at the Olympia? As of now, he is not sure. Remy uh, repeated the fact that he was not sure if he was doing the Olympia. It seems like Remy is not completely sure whether he's doing the Olympia this year or not. But the show will surely be more exciting with his arrival on Olympia stage this year. We're winning the Olympia this year. I'm coming to win the goddamn Olympia. And you know what? You all better be worried. Arnold Classic Ohio 2023 winner Samson Dowda is coming very strong this year and he has clear goal to be the last man standing at the 2023 Mr. Olympia. He managed to beat two times Mr. Olympia winner Big Ramy and third place finisher in 2022 Mr. Olympia, the mass monster Nick Walker recently at the Arnold Classic Ohio stage. So presumably he is very confident to win the standout trophy of the Mr. Olympia this year. But you will have to fight against probably the most conditioned bodybuilder in the lineup, current Mr. Olympia Hadi Chupan. Realistically, I think Samson cannot outcondition Hadi, and even he also believes that he cannot be as shredded as some other contestants. But he has symmetry, aesthetics, quality muscles, and size to be the real threat for the title this year. And I knew I could never match that. If I try to play their game, I will end up losing myself in it. That's that's one thing we've learned. Don't try to play their game. Don't try to be, you try to go for all out crazy conditioning. You're going to lose what makes you strong. Instead, play your game. Get as absolutely as peeled as you can and then bring that strength that you have that they don't. Because that's the main highlight of everything we do is show something that they don't have. Show that completeness, show that roundness, show that freakiness, that size, with, that class, class with mass, with class that they don't have. That is your strength. That's all you got to play to. Nick Walker is certainly one of the most anticipated bodybuilder right now in the IFBB Pro League. His massive size and insane conditioning have been lauded by experts and fans ever since he turned pro. In 2022 Olympia, Nick earned a third place which did not satisfy him as his main goal is to win the Sandow Trophy. In March this year in Arnold Classic, he brought a physique which was clearly more conditioned than his Mr. Olympia appearance, but it was perhaps slightly smaller and less fuller which reduced the freak factor and he could not regain his title. And he was defeated by aesthetically pleasing bodybuilder Samson Dowda. Now Nick Walker has his complete focus on the 2023 Mr. Olympia competition. His goal is to find the perfect balance between his fullness from the 2022 Olympia and his conditioning from the 2023 Arnold Classic. And he strongly believes if he can manage that balance, he is going to win the Sandow Trophy this year. But after Arnold Classic 2023, the IFBB Pro League seems more inclined towards aesthetics, symmetry and the beauty of the muscle rather than just sheer amount of mass and conditioning, which is not in the favor of the mass monster Nick Walker. And it will be interesting to see what game plan Nick Walker has this year to be the last man standing. Last year, Derek Lunsford was the biggest surprise and main standout of the show. He brought the most insane V-taper on stage. Bodybuilding experts believe that Derek could be a really short distance away from wearing the Mr. Olympia crown at the 2023 Mr. Olympia if he brings fuller chest and complete physique. And he will be the first athlete in the bodybuilding history to win both the 212 and the Men's Open Olympia titles. And this year he's leaving no stone unturned to win his first men's open Olympia title by defeating Hadi Chupan. He's very focused, he even skipped Arnold Classic 2023 where he could have won $300,000 prize money. But his main goal is to win Mr. Olympia and he's been working very hard in the offseason to refine his physique. He's young, just 30 years old and he has a lot of room to improve and that makes him very dangerous in this year's Olympia lineup. 
Hadi Chupan won his first Mr. Olympia title last year with a blend of mass and conditioning against Derek Lunsford and third place finisher Nick Walker. Hadi has very mature physique and he is very superior in conditioning department and since last year he has gained size so it will not be an easy task to dethrone the champ. I think it will be very challenging for the rest of the lineup to catch up to his muscle maturity and insane conditioning. But rising star Nick Walker does not see Hadi being capable of winning the Sandow trophy once again. He thinks that Hadi will not have another chance winning the Mr. Olympia title. Listen, I love Hadi, but I don't see him repeating, in my opinion. But Hadi is very consistent, making significant improvements each year, and I strongly believe he will be a force to be reckoned with at the 2023 Mr. Olympia. The deadline for the Olympia qualification is October 9 and there are many bodybuilders who are not qualified yet and we know some of them can make a big impact on the Olympia stage this year. Like Andrew Jack, he was at 8th place in his debut last year and 3rd in Arnold Classic 2023 by beating Big Remy. He is making very significant improvements and he will be among the front runners of the show. Hunter Labrada who had to drop down to the 7th place last year and fans were not really happy with his performance but he's very focused to bring his best this year at the Olympia stage. Brazilian sensation Rafael Branda who mesmerized fans last year with his aesthetically pleasing physique with a solid 10th place. He's planning to move up in the Olympia lineup this year. William Bonek will not be competing this year, but Rolly Winkler has recently announced that he has no plans to retire yet. Rolly, are you officially retired or...? No, I don't want to retire. But seemingly we won't see him competing anytime soon this year. But Vitaly Ogulnikov aka Good Vito is aiming to earn the Olympia qualification in his pro debut show this year. So if he qualifies, it will be very exciting to see the Russian mass monster how he fights against the front runners of Olympia. Canadian rising star Regan Grimes who skipped last year Olympia with the intention to bring more muscle mass for the 2023 Mr. Olympia while keeping his aesthetics and classic lines on his frame. He's working under the supervision of coach Milos Sarchev and he can be the dark horse of the show. Slovakian mass monster Michal Krizu had a very impressive debut last year with 12th place. Now he is planning to compete very soon for the Olympia qualification. Sergio Oliva Jr. is making a comeback to the Olympia almost after 5 years and this year he aims to be the last man standing by winning the Sandow Trophy of Mr. Olympia 2023. I don't want to go to the Olympia and get 15th place. I want to I want to win it. I want to be my first call out. So guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more bodybuilding updates.